All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a snapshot freeze frame effect inside of it film express. So just select your clip and just drag it onto the timeline. And then you just move your playhead where you want to create this snapshot effect. And I think this frame looks fine. So I'm going to just uh, then click on this little icon to create a screenshot out of it. So it says export frames. I'm going to click on that and uh, I'm going to select this option, re-import to media bin and set the format to JPG and click on OK. So uh, we have this pop up. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to click on continue. And now I just want to make sure that I slice the clip. So I'm just going to slice it at that very point. And now I'm going to just select this screenshot or the snapshot and I'm going to hold the shift key on the keyboard and just drag it onto the timeline. If you don't hold the shift key, then it, it's going to overwrite the second clip, which we don't want. So just hold the shift key and just drag it to the timeline. And that way it will just push the second clip right next to the snapshot. So as you can see, we have a video playing and then it will just uh, have the snapshot and then it will continue playing your second clip over here now let's just uh, copy and paste this um, snapshot i'm going to hit ctrl c on the keyboard and ctrl v to paste it and that says we have this paste conflict so we'll just select this last option create new tracks and now we'll just place it properly like that and uh, on this clip which is at the bottom i'm going to apply a few effects so the first one will be the blur effect and the second one will be black and white effect under film looks. You can apply that. Uh, all right. So as you can see, you are not able to see anything. And that is because this clip is at the top. So we'll just disable this video track too for now. And now you'll be able to see it. So you can go ahead in the brightness and contrast and change the look of it. And now what I want to do is I want to select this uh, second video track, enable it, and I'll just scale it down like so. And I'll just rotate this a little bit, something like that. And now let's create a border around this image. So I'm going to create a new plane layer and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this border and let's give it a white color and click on OK. Right, so once you create it, then you can just make sure that it is placed properly right on top of this snapshot. And what we can do is on this second clip, we can right click and click on copy. And then on this border plane layer, we can right click on it and click on paste attributes. And we'll paste both scale and rotation and click on paste. And now we just need to make sure that this border layer is under our screenshot. So let's just do that. I'm just going to move this border layer in between these two screenshots. Now on this border layer, what you can do is unlink scale. Uh, so this icon over here, you can just click on it and unlink it. And once you do that, then you have to increase the X and the Y scale. So uh, I can just click and just increase the scale on the Y and on the X. So we can create uh, borders around our screenshots. Now you can also apply other effects such as drop shadow. So let's just apply it on this border layer. And I'm just going to increase the penumbra value. And you can also increase the opacity if you want to make it more prominent. Let's uh, create a little flash effect. So for that, what we can do is we can add in a transition. So just type in fade in the effects panel and we have this fade to color effect so let's just actually it's a fade to color transition so let's just drag that in and i'm just going to start at the very bottom clip and i'm just going to make sure that the duration of this transition is it's it's going to be pretty fast so let's say let's set this to uh 10 frames so i can just uh, select this transition and make sure that the color is set to white Click on OK and now if you check it out, you have this simple flash effect. All right. And you can apply the same transition on your snapshot at the top. So make sure that it is 10 frames long and change the color to white. 
so we have this simple effect all right and uh, you can do the same thing over at the end as well just make sure that it is 10 frames long and set the color to white and do this on the bottom clip as well change the color to white and then you can also add a little bit of zoom in animation to this so uh, what we can do is we can either keyframe the scale property on all of these three layers or what we can do is we can create a new grade layer you can apply single effect and that effect will apply on all these three clips so what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for spherical warp effect and apply it on this grade clip and i'm going to set the amount to zero we don't want any kind of warp and the only thing we want to keyframe is the scale. So at the very first frame, create a keyframe on scale and move to the end and change the scale and set this to around 110. So we'll have this simple scale in animation or zoom in animation. You can create all sorts of uh, stuff. You can add some text to this as well. You can go to your border layer over here and maybe you can increase the uh, Y a little bit more. Uh, the scale on the Y axis a little bit more and you can just position this like so and you can now add a new text layer and just type in some text so let's type something in okay so this is my text and i can go to text tab and change the font color to black and change the font size to something different you know play around with different fonts so you can just place it somewhere over here and you can also copy attributes from the previous clip and paste it on the text paste attributes and i'm going to paste in rotation so i'm going to uncheck scale click on paste and i can just place it anywhere that i want all right so now our text will not have this scale animation and that is because we need to just make sure that the grade layer is at the top followed by the text so now your text will have the same zoom in animation so yeah, that is essentially how you can create this uh, snapshot freeze frame effect inside of hitfilm I hope this video is helpful. Hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.